Hi friends, today in this video, I am going to make a simple and powerful voltage regulator, adjustable from 0 to 30 volts, with up to 5 amperes of output. I first prepared the simple circuit diagram using LM317, that only provides 1.5 amperes maximum output. To increase the current limit, I added this MJE2955 PNP transistor, which bypasses the current to output up to 5 amperes, and voltage can be controlled with this potentiometer from 0 to 30 volts. Also I added the connector for voltmeter, so that voltage can be set easily. For easy assembly, I converted the schematics into the PCB, and then ordered it from JLC PCB. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBs for just $2, efficient large scale production reduces costs, and bringing you PCBs in unbeatable prices. And then I prepared the PCB for its components. So, let's place all the components into the PCB according to the circuit diagram. After completing the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl. And our PCB looks nice and clean. Now take a good size of heatsink. Use thermal paste for better heat dissipation. Also use silicon pads for insulation. Take LM317 voltage regulator, and place over here. Also take MJE2955 transistor, and place over here. Use 3 mm screws with plastic bushing. Use screwdriver to tighten the screws. Bend both component pins like this. Use a double sided foam tape, for insulation between PCB and heatsink. Now align the PCB with these components. And solder all the pins with PCB. I used this 0.28 inch voltmeter's display. Connect with this connector, and paste it over here with foam tape. Also use a knob for this potentiometer, to set voltage easily. Use alligator clip wires, and connect in output connector. Also connect input DC wires. Before we test our circuit, let me tell you that you can also order the same PCB for this project without messing up on pref board. Just go to the video description, and with this link sign up on JLCPCB website. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronic engineers to develop projects efficiently. Just upload your Gubber file here, to get instant quote and order in minutes, it is easy as online shopping. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. 
You can also change quantity and color of the PCB as per your requirements. Quality and lead time is reliable, all in-house production, ensuring stability and strict quality control in every process, and lightning fast PCB production, in just 24 hours. And then you can save to the cart for the checkout process. Also don't miss JLC PCB 6 layer PCB special, get $30 off with a coupon, and enjoy top quality 6 layer PCBs, plus 2 UENIG finish, and no engineering fees for wire in pads. Now back to the testing, connect input with 30 volt DC source. You can adjust this potentiometer clockwise, to increase the voltage to maximum. and anti-clockwise, to decrease the voltage. Now I will use multimeter to track the load current. I used this thick nichrome wire for testing. As you can see here, it is drawing about 4 amperes of current and here 4.8 amperes, and here more than 5 amperes. Also let's test with this bulb. As you can see it draws about 1.7 amperes of current. Now let's adjust the voltage to 24 volts. So, I connected this bulb in series. As you can see it works perfectly, and draws same amount of current at 24 volts. This can be easily used as mini bench supply, with wide range of applications under limited 5 amperes of current. For more useful videos, subscribe this channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.